today we're actually going to be talking about prospecting. Four simple little steps that you can do when meeting people out and about in the marketplace. So prospecting is totally a learned skill because I'll tell you what, when I first got started, I really, I really stunk at it. Okay. I'm, that's not just my natural way of being, but you know what? There, here's the good news. Number one, it's something you can learn. Number two, if it absolutely terrifies you right now, which is how I used to feel, um, that is all subject to change because there's some people that it's like really scary and like a little over the top and then there's other people who get out there and they just have a good old time with it. So wherever you're at right now, I hope to morph you to the second part where you have a lot of fun doing it, you meet a lot of people and you change a lot of people's lives in the process. So four simple steps that I use when I prospect. You know, one of the things with prospecting is it's not so much about the words that are coming out of your mouth. It's about the energy that you're putting off. It's about, are you strong? Are you confident? Do you know what you have is gonna change somebody's life? Is that the energy that you're putting off? Or is it, oh, I don't want them to shoot me down and I hope they say yes. And, and, and it's very nerve wracking, right? So, you know, I'm gonna go through these four steps. These are things that I've used and, and applied them over the years. You know, it's interesting because now you can prospect using social media, which we're gonna talk about that a little bit later. You can prospect meeting people out and about. You can do what we call lifestyle prospecting, which is what I prefer to do now. Um, before, back in the day, I used to go out and I would, prospect. Okay. I mean, that was like the goal. Um, I wasn't shopping. I wasn't really doing anything else. I was prospecting. And let me tell you what that does. It puts a lot of unnecessary pressure on you. So if this is not your natural forte, don't do that. What you want to do is you want a lifestyle prospect. You four simple steps to prospecting. Okay. We're talking about lifestyle prospecting, which basically means we're going to weave the whole concept of meeting people into what we do while we're out and about. So you got to go get some groceries. You got to go run some errands. You have different things that you have to do. That's how you want to prospect. Number one is obviously you want to have your antenna up, right? You want to be looking for people that look like the kind of person you want to have join your business. Now, me personally, I always lead with the business. There's some people that like to lead with their product. And if that's you, you know, awesome. If you are more of a business minded person and you're comfortable talking business and that is a forte that you could feel really strong about then definitely lead with the business so we're looking for people the first thing is you've identified your person right you're like okay this is the one I'm gonna talk to them <laughs> then the, obviously you want to say hi you want to kind of str uh, strike up a conversation you know what's hilarious is there's been times I'm out at about I'm like I see somebody I'm like okay I'm gonna talk to that person girl guy whatever I want to talk to that person I'm like hey and they're like hi like they totally give me the cold shoulder, right? They totally are just not having a good day, right? <laughs> so whatever the case may be, it doesn't really matter. You're just going to say hi. You don't control the response, right? Certainly if you just say hello and you don't get much there, you're not going to continue moving on. But we're going to say hi. The second thing is obviously strike up a conversation with them. So I typically like to throw out a compliment. I like the purse, I like the shoes, I like the tie, I like you look super sharp, are you just getting off of work? Whatever, throw out a compliment that you can be genuine and authentic with and just start striking up the conversation. Your goal in this process, in this time, is not so much to uh, feel like you have to go through these specific steps, it's more to connect with that person. If you can connect with that person, you know, your instincts are going to take over from there. So if you make it a goal of saying hi, throwing out some kind of compliment that you can be genuine and authentic with, and then, you know, kind of seeing how things go. Now, what I like to do a lot of times is I like to kind of find out what they do because a lot of times they'll ask me back, well, what do you do? And that gives me an opportunity to talk about my business. Now, if you're more of a product type of person, you can obviously take it that way as well. If they ask you, what do you do? And you share with them about your product, then they either can have the opportunity to ask you more questions about that, or you can kind of throw out there, like let's say you have a health and nutrition product, for example, right? And you, you start telling them, hey, I have a health and nutrition product that's helping a lot of people with more energy, better sleep, aches and pains, whatever your product does. And you might say, hey, do you know anybody that might have an interest in something like that? So you're kind of asking them indirectly, right? And so it's kind of the third party route. A lot of times they'll be like, uh, yeah, me. <laughs> um, and so then you can kind of go from there. Now, how do I talk to them about the business, right? So we're talking, we're chit chatting, we're connecting. And then usually you have a very limited time with a person. So you want to make sure that you get to the point 
kind of quickly because a lot of times you're you know shopping or you're in line with them and your guys are all checking out whatever the case may be you want to make sure that you kind of get to the point um before they go or you go <laughs> and then it's kind of like why are you why are we still talking right We're, we both should have moved on at this point so a lot of times i'll say hey you know what this may be way out in left field but i'm currently expanding my business and you seem like a really outgoing person someone that'd be a lot of fun to work with do you happen to keep your options open for making money outside of what you currently do that's it. Typically, that's the same thing I say over and over and over again. It just depends on the scenario. So, hey, this may be way out in left field. I'm expanding my business. Do you happen to keep your options open? And they're usually going to give you one of three answers. They're going to say, yes, I'm open. What do you have? They're going to say, no. <laughs> or they're going to say, what do you have, right? What you got? And so you you know, obviously going forward from there, what I usually would do is I'll say, Hey, listen, I have to, I got to run right now, but what's the best number to reach you at? And I'll take out my phone and I'll go ahead and punch them in the phone and save them as a contact. Sometimes if they're the type of person that's a professional and they probably have a business card, I'll ask them for their card. I always, always, always check to make sure that like a cell phone number is listed on the card because let's say they're an attorney or you know, they do something where you're going to have to go through some different people to finally get to them. You don't want to do that. So if they happen to give you a card and it looks like the only number that's listed there is an office number, they say, Hey, what's it, what's a direct line for you? Or is this your cell phone? And they'll be like, Oh no, then you can just go ahead and jot it down. So you get their contact info and you're off the, you know, you're out the door. A lot of times what I'd say is, you know, Hey, love to get together and talk more about it with you. What's the best number to chat with you at? And then from there, you're, you're off and rolling. So the simple four steps is say hello, drop the compliment, have a conversation, and then obviously, you know, share, share why, share what it is that you want to connect with them about. So those are the four things that I do when I'm out and about prospecting. Again, lifestyle prospecting has been the very best thing for me. Something else that has really, really worked is, you know, as somebody in business for ourselves, we know that our income is going to be largely dependent on how many people we're sharing what we have with, right? The more we share, the more our business can grow, the more people that can join your team, the more commissions you can make, right? The more residual income you can build for you and your family. So that's really the name of the game if we want to get to financial freedom. Now, we know we're going to be reaching out there. We're going to be contacting the people that we know. We're going to be prospecting, doing the lifestyle prospecting. But wouldn't it be awesome if there were people that were actually reaching out to you? <laughs> Just an idea. <laughs> Would you like that? How does that work? Okay, well, we have this whole social media beast, right? This is something that if you learn to use it, if you learn to wield, you know, wield it in a certain way, you can actually attract people to you using the power of social media. This is something that we have been doing over the last, since the spring of this year. It's an absolutely incredibly powerful. It's something that you can do where you're actually meeting people and you're still in the comfort of your home or you're doing it on your time or you're doing it when your kids are asleep or you're doing it when you're, you know, out of work or whatever. You do it around your schedule. So if you would like to learn more about that thing in particular, how to use the power of social media to attract people to you, then I got something for you that I know will in totally help. If you click on the link that's listed in the description, summary, it is my social media blueprint. These are the things that I've done and applied in my business that attract people to us each and every single day. And you know what? it will work exactly the same for you. So go ahead and get the free gift. I hope this added some value. I, I certainly hope you apply it and you start using it. You got your video, you got your four steps, get out there and get into action. You know what? You don't have to be perfect, right? There, there's, there's, people have this misconception that they're gonna all of a sudden arrive, you know, at some time and, and go out there and be magical and amazing. That's not true. I was so, so, so bad. <laughs> before I got good, before I had fun with it, before it was kind of like, okay, how many numbers can I get today, right? You know, it's okay. Go through the process. Now, typically, once I have that number, once I have that contact, my goal is to get with them for a one-on-one. -on -one. Not to invite them to an event, not to invite them to a house party, not to do any of that. Just one-on-one. -on -one. Why? Because it's personal. And I want to build that connection with that person. We'll probably get into that more tomorrow, but um, just get out there and do it. And you know what? Wherever you're at, if this is totally terrifying and scary for you right now, start with hi. Hey, hey, just talk and say hi to all different people when you're out and about. If you feel like, hey, I got this, let me go do it, then make a goal for yourself. Hey, I'm gonna, I have these errands. It would be awesome if I could get two numbers 
three numbers, five numbers, whatever you want, right? You decide, go out there, have fun with it, go mess it up big time, but learn in the process. And in the process, you're gonna build your business. So that is it for today. For more great training and to receive your free MP3 download on how to attract prospects using social media, the four essential elements to attracting prospects, visit summergeronimo.com.